Hey everyone, I was recently asked on how to make a Gary's Mod murder server, so today I wanted to show you how to do that. As you may know, I have a few Gary's Mod how-to videos now. Feel free to check them all out. There are two I would recommend watching before this one though. My very first one, the how to create a server, and my how to customize a server. Without wasting any more time though, let's dive in. So, firstly, you're going to want to download Steam CMD. I will leave links to everything in the description below. Download that and place it in a new folder in a location of your choice. Then download your server. Once you have your server made, you're going to want to subscribe to the murder game mode, which is on the Steam Workshop. You are also going to want to find a murder supported map. I will use DE Forest as the example in this video. Just go ahead and subscribe to that. You are then going to want to create a collection and add whatever add-ons you want in your murder server to that collection, but you will need to have the murder game mode in whatever map or maps you are using in that collection. Once you have that, go back to your server folder, go to Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod DS, and create a start.bat file and have it look a little like this. I'll leave a copy in the description below. Remember, to create a start.bat file, you just need to make a new text document and change the file extension from .txt to .bat. Make sure show all file extensions are enabled. Notice here, game mode is set to murder and map is set to DE Forest. Also note the host workshop collection ID. This is the ID of my collection, but you'd replace the numbers with whatever your ID is. Or, you can use mine if you want just the game mode and DE Forest map. Your collection ID is found in the URL, like so. Once you have all that, file, save, and exit. Then, that is all. You just start the server, and start up Gary's Mod, and you now have a murder server. Congratulations! If you want to play with friends outside your local network, you will need to port forward your server. And I show that, and more, in these three videos. Links will be in the description below. If this video helped you murder a server, please leave a like and subscribe. My future on here depends on all of you. Thank you all for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.